what's going on guys and welcome to your 32nd javascript tutorial uh, let's continue the quiz and if you have no idea what we are doing right now then go back a couple of tutorials or maybe more and you'll understand what's happening down here okay so we were on question number 11 so in this question we are supplied with an array my array and with certain elements and we have this my array dot length is equal to zero. We are changing the length to zero. And my array dot push bin. Then we are just adding this element into this array, and we are just console locking this. So what's happening down here is all the twist and mystery in this in this line. So what this line does is, if you basically let's create an array, like one, two, three, three and four and if we type a dot length we get four now basically if we assign the a dot length to anything less than this actual length then javascript will truncate the array and remove the elements from the last so i'm assigning the length of this array to one less than its original length so let's see what happens now the length is three and the array is just one two three and the fourth element is deleted from the array so here we are just deleting everything from this array and this array becomes an empty array like this and then we are simply pushing this bin to this array which creates an array of just one element with bin and we are just console logging this and this should be the answer and it is so in this question question number 12 as I told you earlier, the string creates the primitive value or the primitive type of string. But with the new string, new string keyword, we are calling the constructor function and it creates an object. So new string hello is not equal to hello. Or basically let's set it to triple equal to and it would return as false as you see. But string actually creates a primitive value and thus is obviously equal to in terms of value and data type as well to the hello on the RHS and thus it returns us true so this is true pretty simple to understand okay so here we have something twisty so let's see we are creating a variable X setting it to 0 incrementing this variable x down here setting this property to x and then okay then we are returning this function itself Whoa. oh okay so this is something very interesting and very conceptual actually so what's happening down here is when we create the reason we are using these two new keywords and it is valid to use these two new keywords down here is because this this function the foo function is returning itself so what's happening here is that we when let me show you we are creating supposedly we create a variable x with new foo I'm not copying the function down from this code and then we are creating the variable bar with new x so this is basically similar this line is similar to these two lines so we are just reducing these two line into one line by using the new keyword two times and since we are returning the function itself so this basically the X down here should be undefined even in the only the first new keyword so I'll show you just this in a moment let's copy this code down here we have this function foo now and uh, let's create an instance or an object of this function so now what's happening here is now bar bar is actually this thing now bar is actually this thing only so now when we access bar dot x we are not actually accessing this constructor functions dot x we are actually accessing itself and since the owner of this x is bar and 
x in bar is undefined then bar dot x would return us undefined so if we create even a simple instance of just foo with this single new keyword then also bar dot x should be should be undefined okay so now I'll explain this why again why this is undefined now this is undefined because when we create this keyword bar right here and we assign this new foo so what's happening here is bar is technically same to this thing so function foo actually so actually bar is equal to this thing down here and this as I told you refers to the owner of the function and the owner of the function is bar and basically this code is actually bar dot x is equal to x and since bar dot x is undefined or not defined yet because we are returning the function instance itself therefore this thing right here is undefined so basically when we console log this bar dot x we get undefined and similarly with the second new keyword as well we'll get undefined because we are just simply overriding or creating this function again inside the bar but what if we remove this line from this function and just run it like a regular function then what happens is it would work like normal but we have to remove another new keyword because this syntax is only valid when and only when this function itself returns itself returns itself in the return statement so now this would work as usual we are incrementing x the global x by 1 and assigning it inside the property and this should console log 1 as it is so we have the answer as undefined simple okay now we have this thing now on the LHS we have a primitive value of string but on the RHS we are cons comparing the instance of with an object string so from the prototype learning we know that primitive value is not equal to the object value therefore this code is like x is this is a string and obviously x is not an instance of string so this should return us false as you can see so false is the answer and then we have this question right here question number 15 and we are creating a variable bar with one and an empty object foo now we are creating a label okay so don't confuse this colon operator with equal or assignment operator now this foo is actually kind of just label and we don't actually use labels very much in JavaScript because it is a bad practice or it is not actually required on the basis of 99% times you can rewrite your code without using labels and even the developers do not suggest to use labels but basically what it is doing is it's just simply creating a label and it has nothing to do with this object so basically with the help of foo.baz we are not accessing this property because this is event this event is not an object so we are actually accessing the property of this object down here which is still undefined so foo.baz undefined plus foo.bar undefined plus bar so undefined plus undefined plus one is not a number and we get not a number as a correct answer okay so now we have completed the next five questions in this tutorial and in the next tutorial we'll be finally ending this quiz and i hope you enjoyed the quiz and then i'll see you next time thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe